Uh, na mpenzi mtazamaji karibu tena katika channel ya Rogers Kakasungura. Uh, nimekuwa mbali kidogo sijakuwa karibu ndio maana sijaweka video. Lakini nashukuru sana kwa jeki ambayo mnazidi kunipiga kwa mambo ya subscribers na tunazidi kusonga. Na natumai kwamba kwa siku mbili tatu zijazo tutakao tumefika watch tower zile ambazo YouTube inasema ili tufanya monetization. Na iwapo hauja subscribe na unatazama hii video tafadhali ninaomba kwamba hicho kidude kiko hapo chini kimeandikwa subscribe bonyeza pale na you can share with a friend ili tusonge pamoja kwa mambo ya kisiasa. Kuna watu ambao wanazidi kunipatia moyo kuendelea na kuchapa kazi na kuna wala ambao wanaona kwamba labda ninaegemea upande mwingine au ninawagonga sana. Wacha niseme hivi. Mimi hapa nitagonga Ruto, nitagonga Raila, nitagonga Uhuru na hakuna mtu nitakaye mpembeleza. Lakini leo hii nataka nizungumzie BBI report. <laughs> The BBI report. Unajua Raila Odinga na Uhuru Kenyatta wamengangana na hii report sana. Wamengangana nayo. Wamengangana. Lakini The Supreme Court today joined other lower courts. Wakaitupilia mbali. The Court of Appeal kaitupilia mbali, the High Court kaitupilia mbali and now the Supreme Court imeitupilia mbali. Lakini unajua kuna vipenge ambavyo BBI ilikuwa inasaidia watu wengine. Ndio BBI imekufa, ndio kulingana na mahakama imekufa. Sijui Raila Odinga sijui lakini baba ni baba sijui wanasema hivyo. Na Uhuru Kenyatta sijui unajua alikuwa amepewa alikuwa amepewa miaka tano tena ya kukua party leader wa jubilee another five years. So in my mind I was thinking maybe this guy wanted to be a prime minister in one way or another. If I told they had um, some hopes uh, if in one way or another the supreme court judges were to endorse the bbi report and pass it but now it's a shocker today that the bbi report has fallen it has followed our man's chairman mze kibor who will be buried tomorrow and i'm told uh, the, the 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 deputy chair Honorable retired Prime Minister Raila Odinga himself will be chairing that funeral tomorrow. So we'll be waiting to see what we'll be speaking. But let me entirely and expressively address the three gentlemen, the three uh, bulls in Kenya. That is Uhuru Muigai Kenyatta, Raila Odinga, and of course the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya, William Samoe Waruto. Amo kipenda unamuita Kipchirchir. That is a name I don't know if most of you know it, but it's an official name for Deputy President William Ruto. Now, <laughs> the Supreme Court has decided to bury BBI. You know, I was watching some cartoons in the Nation newspaper, and uh, there is a cartoon they released yesterday. <laughs> my goodness, I I I want to meet these cartoons, but then. That is not my concern today. Now, in the BBI, who loses? BBI has gone, yes. But then, who is the loser? One could say it's Raila Odinga. Another one could say it's Uhuru Kenyatta. And another one could suggest it's Deputy President William Samoy Ruta. But then, can we in, in details look at Yes, BBI has been thrown away, but who benefits in the constitution that was changed in 2010 by Raila Odinga? Most of you know that Deputy President William Ruto opposed it by all means. He opposed it. But then, through that, when the constitution passed, Ruto was the first beneficiary as the Deputy President of the Republic of Korea. You know, we used to have Vice Presidents. Of course with a bit of a bit of a few a few powers eh <laughs> You know that Now the BBI report I want to measure in a proposal just 
um not entirely on it but then i want to pick just a few segment that proposed in the bbr report if you lose and become position 2 in the presidential election you automatically become the opposition leader with a shadow cabinet and of course some government budget now look at the political dynamics in Kenya today. Uhuru Kenyatta has entirely supported Raila Odinga. And as I said in my previous video, the criteria that Ruto and Uhuru used in 2017 to kick Raila Odinga out of the possible president's win is the same criteria that I believe Uhuru Kenyatta and the system in quotes, and I explained who the system is in my last video, will be using to kick William Ruto out of government. Now, if Ruto loses, BBI has fallen. If Ruto loses today, or if Ruto loses in the August election, who becomes the loser? I want to believe that William Ruto, I have been silently praying to God that BBI in one way or another passes so that he benefits in one way or another. Because Ura served as the president for two terms, he's going home, he has achieved as a human being. Even if he wanted a prime ministerial position in one way or another, it could not affect him much like sending Ruto entirely out of government if he loses. Raila Odinga is becoming the fifth president. If all goes well as planned and as I see, putting all things constant as we see and what you also see. Now, if Ruta becomes a second runner in the August presidential election, where will he go? He means he will go home in his Roy farm to go and tender for his cattle and maybe to give a few amazed to his poultry farm. Yes, the baby has fallen, but I think in my own opinion, I will become the president and do amendments after the election. He, he, of course, he can do the amendments. He can, through a parliament and other means, as the constitution suggests. But now, where will Ruto be if he loses in the August election? I'm not saying he will lose. I'm, just get me right. I'm not saying Ruto will lose. But then, I'm trying to picture the BB has fallen. And if Ruto loses in the August election, who loses now? Because Uhuru shall have retired as the president, having served a clean ten term, uh, a clean two term, ten years. And... Um, Raila Odinga by then will be the president of the Republic of Kenya. Now, where will this man of Sugoi be after the August election? It's just a question. If BBI could have passed in then and he comes the second runner, he could have gotten an opportunity to be the official constitutional leader of the opposition. Hmm. So, I don't know what is your view. Let me get it at the comment section. But I feel the falling of BBI is a lose to William Ruto. And of course, a benefit to Raila Odinga. Because if he becomes the president, he will not be having a little of opposition. So he will run the government as he wishes. And maybe Ruto will become the opposition from outside government, like Raila has been doing the previous years. Maybe, 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 if that becomes an alternative. But then, I think, um, yes, let's forget and move on. BBR has gone. Let Kenyans forget. Let Uhuru forget. Let Raila forget. Let Uhuru retire peacefully and go home. Rest, my friend. Uhuru, please. You have served as well in 10 years. I urge you, you were given another five years' term as the Jubilee Party, my friend, I beseech you, go home and rest. Please, go home and rest. The ministerial position, if it was there, it is gone. Go home and rest. Now, leave us with the, 
uh, uh, Raila Odinga and uh, William Ruto. We deal with them mercilessly. If we elect Raila, well and good. If we elect Ruto, well and good. Wish you the best, colleagues, friends, and my followers. Please subscribe. Let me see you in the next video. Have a blessed times, guys, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Rajas Kakasungura.